We all have self-esteem, but which type do you have? In this short video, I want to share with you about the three types of self-esteem so that you can be more educated about where you are and where you can go from here. My name is Joanna, your Mindful Mastery Coach, and I am passionate about helping people gain mastery over their mind and emotions so that they can fully enjoy their life. The biggest problem with self-esteem is that we often don't realize where we are. We don't realize if we have the wrong type. But knowing where we are can help us improve if we need to or maintain if we don't. But first, we have to understand what self-esteem really is. Self-esteem is our overall opinion of ourselves. It's how we feel about our abilities and our limitations. And whether we know it or not, it is a key determinant of our success. It is often said that self-esteem and success go hand in hand that one will feed the other so that both continue to grow. So in order to be successful, we need to develop the right type of self-esteem. It doesn't matter where you are right now, because all that matters is where you are going. The first type of self-esteem is low self-esteem. People who have low self-esteem think of themselves as being below average. They don't believe in themselves. They don't trust their own abilities and they put very little value on themselves, if at all. When we have low self-esteem, it can have a huge impact on our lives. It tends to attract poor relationships because of our self-doubt and because of our lack of self-worth and value. When we're in that kind of state of mind, we're more likely to go to great lengths for the wrong type of people. Have you had relationships and friendships that took advantage of you? Do you feel like you bend over backwards for those people? Or maybe you feel like there's nothing better for you that you're not worthy of more. When we have low self-esteem, we have a higher tendency to do hard drugs and substances because we want to ease those negative feelings that we have about ourselves. We're also much more likely to fall into depression or anxiety. The second type of self-esteem is inflated self-esteem. People with inflated self-esteem tend to think of themselves better than other people. They are always ready to cut other people down and underestimate them. These types of people have a very hard time building meaningful and healthy relationships. They always want to be ahead, they always want to win, and they are not afraid to hurt other people in order to do so because they are always thinking of their own happiness and their own worth and where they rank in comparison with other people. When we have an inflated self-esteem, we tend to use that as a camouflage to hide our insecurity. It's a way to camouflage our incompetence because we fear rejection and failure. Do you find that you're constantly comparing yourself to other people just to show that you are better at something? Do you feel like everything is a competition of sorts? Do you feel the pressure to constantly be the best? 
The third type of self-esteem is high self-esteem. People who have a high self-esteem tend to love and accept themselves. They believe in themselves and their abilities. They have confidence in whatever challenges that might come that they will be able to make it through and surpass it. Having a high self-esteem has great many benefits. It allows us to be ourselves without fear of being judged. It makes us ready to accept any new challenge that comes our way. And we're not always searching for approval from other people. It allows us to learn new things and accept criticism because we know that we can be better and improve as a result of it. When we have a high self-esteem, we're more likely to take initiative and we become better and more pleasant people to be around. Now the difference between a high and an inflated self-esteem is like comparing building a tall tower versus flying a balloon up to a certain elevation. Having a high self-esteem is having spent time building a strong structure to climb on to get higher. But an inflated self-esteem is like blowing up a balloon and allowing it to let us float up higher and higher. But eventually that balloon will pop. That balloon is very fragile. It is not the real thing. So which type of self-esteem do you have? Do you feel like you have low self-esteem now? Do you feel like you tend to inflate your self-esteem because you're afraid of being exposed for who you are? Or do you feel like you have that high positive sense of self-esteem that is truly healthy for you? Even if you don't have high self-esteem right now, it's okay. It's okay to acknowledge that we are not where we want to be. But that also means that today is the day for change. To take the first steps in building up that tall structure so that we can get elevated to that high self-esteem. So comment down below and let me know, where do you fall in these three types of self-esteem? Have you struggled with your self-esteem in the past? If you like this video, found it helpful or valuable in any way, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Because this year, I am committed to helping you gain mastery over your mind and emotions. See you in the next video. Bye!